On this James the Bike Guy, we're going to geek out pretty hard on some Brosa motors. These motors are both out of some specialized e-bikes, and we're going to go over uh, kind of some of the features and the differences and really get geeky on the Brosa 1.3 motor on our left and the 2.1 on our right. But before we get started, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. That way you can see more videos like this into the future. Now taking a look at these motors, uh, they are both Brosa branded motors and Brosa is an OEM supplier for a bunch of different brands of uh, products. You know, everything from the automotive industry where they make motors for uh, electric powered seats to all sorts of other places where you need a high quality motor. The other interesting thing to make sure that we keep in mind on both of these motors is that they're both going to be belt driven, so reduction gear style motors, where it's got a small electric motor on the inside that's able to drive the belt at a high rate of speed, which helps make it efficient, and then it's going to drive the front chain ring. So both of these are mid-mount motors, and when we take a look at these two motors, uh, they have a lot in common, although they're definitely different at the same time. Now, the Brosa Motors have been around for a while. It's a great brand. They match up really well against brands like Bosch. And Brosa uses uh, the same motor, or rather Specialized uses the same Brosa motor for everything from their Vado, Como, and DeLevo, except for the new 2019 and 2020 Levos. And we'll talk about this motor in a second. But as we take a look at this one, this is actually a uh, Brosa 1.3. Now the 1.3 motor uh, is used in all three of those models, the Vado and the Como. It's also used in up until 2018 uh, Levos. Now this motor itself is an aluminum cast case. Uh, you can see it's a pretty nice looking motor. Uh, it's actually pretty lightweight. I'm curious later on we'll see what the weight difference is between these two. This motor is going to have an outlet. This is actually the outlet to go to the power. And then you're also going to have these three accessory ports. So if we take a look at that, uh, you'll see the round ones. Those three are actually set up for accessories. This one to the inside is the speed sensor. The other two could be set up with lights or things like that. And then your TCU control unit goes into one of the two ovalized units. Now this Brosa motor, uh, the 1.3 can come standard or in a 1.3S can come standard or it can come in a Brosa S 1.3 and the S model is the speed version. So the non-speed motors, at least here in the US, go up to 20 miles per hour. The speed version of the motors will go up to 28 miles per hour. Other thing to keep in mind is the casing is largely identical to the 1.2 that became before this and earlier uh, Vado and Como models. And the 1.2 would have had 85 Newton meters of overall torque, would have had a 320% more power than what you were putting out, and it had a nominal wattage of 250 watts with a max of 520 watts. So that's at absolute peak, the greatest amount of power that it could put out. Now, it's got this uh, hexagonal uh, mount to be able to put uh, the chain ring onto, and then crank arms go on, largely like a Truvative style, a pretty Pretty simple design for the crank to go on. And the motor itself uh, would actually mount with these standoffs. So these standoffs mount, you run a bolt through the, uh, the frame, and that's largely how this went together. Now it is an aluminum casing like we said, it is belt drive, and this particular version, instead of being the 1.2, is the 1.3, which bumps uh, the newton meter of torque up to 90 newton meters. It also bumps to 410% uh, max gain out of this, so 410% over what you have, or a max power output of 520 watts. Now, the main difference by going from this 1.3 to the 2.1 is actually in the casing. So you can see that this casing is quite a bit different. This particular casing is made out of magnesium, and it's also uh, a claimed 15% smaller. So this unit is definitely smaller in overall size. I don't think it's much smaller in length or width, but it's got a lot more room inside of the casing to be able to, uh, to adjust how it fits into the frame. And it's definitely short enough that it should be able to help with the chainstay links. 
couple of things to keep in mind with this, uh, this motor is, of course, we still have that TCU connector. We've also got our power connector. And then inside of here, you've got a yellow, a red, and a green accessory. So you've got three accessories versus the two on that. And then, of course, your speed sensor goes into this black connector. One of the other things that's different about this is you can notice there's actually no standoffs on it. So one of the really nice things about the 2.1 magnesium casing on this motor is that everything is going to be installed uh, without threading into the casing. So I've got a baggie of parts here, and all these little parts actually uh, help with how it installs. Now, uh, right side is these red standoffs. So in this case, uh, the connectors go to the rear, so forward, and just for the sake of it, we'll set up the 1.3 next to it in the same direction. Um, so forward is going towards you guys looking at uh, the front end of the bike here. So the, uh, the right side, you would get this threaded nutsert that actually will press in. It locks in place with this uh, hexagonal design. And then you've got this red insert, and that's actually the motor mount that'll go in. Now, on the other side, it's absolutely the same, same process. You've got uh, blue for the left, and then nutsert that inserts in there as well. And so that makes for a pretty nice setup because you don't have to worry about anything snapping off or the casing getting damaged for installing. So I can definitely see why they run this on their mountain bikes. Another interesting thing to note, so while largely on the inside it is the uh, same motor as the 1.3, the 2.1 is an RX tune, so totally tuned just for the Levo setup. It's got 90 newton meters of torque, just like that 1.3, 410% uh, assist. And then the other thing that it's got is it's actually got a 10 watt bump over the 1.3. So at max power output, it's 560 watts of power. Now keep in mind, both of them run 250 watts of nominal power. So that's the major difference between these two. Uh, looking at them, I totally see where this, uh, this 2.1 is a big upgrade as far as mounting into a mountain bike. Uh, it's, it's definitely a nice look. You know, one of the funny things is actually this is the casing line. Uh, the do not open sticker was pressed to the side so you could theoretically uh, open it without killing that sticker. But it's, uh, it's interesting to see the differences between these two motors. Uh, talking to a, a mechanic that works on these pretty regularly, he was telling me a couple of things to, uh, to keep in mind. So the black, black motor itself, uh, he liked how uh, the no threaded inserts definitely help keep it from getting damaged. It also uh, definitely keeps people who try to service their own things uh, from being able to strip out or ruin the motor setup. And on the silver one, or the 1.3, uh, it's a lot easier to install. So the black one, being able to get that into a frame is a little bit of a challenge, just the way that it's set up with the Levos. Uh, but the silver one is definitely easier to install. Now, with taking a look at those two, of course, we now have to find out what they weigh. And this I'm definitely, uh, definitely interested in, you know. They claim the 15% smaller on that 2.1, but there's no real claims about weight. And holding them in my hand, I don't notice much of a difference. Granted, it's kind of tough because this isn't a normal part uh, that you know one would lift up or really know what feels lightweight. So if we toss the 1.3 motor on, you'll see that it comes out at a pretty healthy 3,509 grams. I mean, that's uh, that's fairly heavy. To put that in perspective, 455 grams is about a pound. So here you're talking right around seven pounds of weight. So that's pretty substantial. But granted, it's a lot lighter than some of the other brands that are out there. Now, if we take a look at the 2.1 motor, we'll get the scale reset. 2.1 is going to go on, and it's going to weigh in at 3,081 grams, which that's actually really impressive. So to go back to that 455 gram rule, that means this is over a pound lighter, which is surprising to me because in the hand it doesn't actually feel that much lighter, uh, but it clearly is. So thanks so much for watching this video on the specialized turbo uh, motors or the Brosa 1.3 and 2.1 motors. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. I'm curious if you've had any first-hand knowledge or know anyone who's worked on them. 
because I'm really interested in what y'all think about the differences of these. While you're at it, be sure to hit a thumbs up button. That lets me know that you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so that way you can see more videos like this into the future.